Hey friends, Metapod here, again. Um, welcome to the second part of my single character challenge in Unlimited Saga. I'm going to cut out a huge block of crap here in the beginning because I do a crap ton of shopping. Um, though I don't really buy anything, and that's really boring. I just kind of look at shops over and over. Um, it's going to get even worse as the series goes on. Uh, so I'll keep cutting it out. So cut to Judy. Um, Judy's an optional character in Laura's story. Uh, you don't have to get her. You have to like reconnoiter in the inn here uh, and go through all of the information and then press down as if you were going to the exit menu option or whatever and you'll run into Judy. Um, and then Laura will complain about how she has to cart around two little kids. Um, though I really don't think... Judy nor Henri are that bad. Um, Henri seems like he keeps to himself, and Judy is pretty independent for an eight-year-old, or however old she's supposed to be, because, I mean, she pretty much travels the whole world on her own and, like, runs her adventuring party <laughs> um, in her story. Um, so I don't know what Laura's deal is. Uh, but um, instead of going on to the next story adventure. I'm going to do this sub-adventure called Lumina Stone. Um, wasn't really sure what I wanted to do. Definitely not Night Desert, because that would be terrifying. Um, <laughs> and Henri would probably swiftly die. Uh, but Lumina Stone is pretty easy, and you can get an easy magic tablet for it, so I'm hoping to get something Henri could use. He really could use just about anything, but uh, right now I really want recycle or purify. Um, I'm also really looking for uh, other good tablets for or other good skill panels for Henri. Um, so I might have to forego the tablet if it's not like perfect. Pretty much if it does not have purify on it. Even if it has purify on it I can probably get... I don't know why I did this first because um, I really... I just need more tablets for Henri before going on or more skill panels for Henri before going on. Um, this is actually one of my favorite adventures even though it's pretty easy um, because there's just so many random little scenes you can see if you walk around the map and uh, if you don't fully explore it on your fir first time, you'll probably run into different things each time you play it, which is really cool. That's one of the things I like about this game, uh, and all the Saga games, is each playthrough, even though you're doing a lot of the same things, ends up being a different experience anyway. Um, like you just saw before this battle started, where I'm doing the same throw, throw, stab, stab, stab thing that I've been doing. Um, I ran into a group of fortune tellers who were looking for the Lumina Stones, and uh, all of them said the fortune said the stones were to the south, except one girl thought they were to the north, and um, they kind of bullied her, and she sadly went off to the north on her own because they didn't want to travel with her anymore, I don't know. And um, you can actually go find her, which is kind of cool. Um, yeah, ooh, I love these, like, dead people body chests that you can ravage for stuff, uh, because there are never any traps or locks on them, which is great. Uh, so you can get, like, a free 2,000 cur or whatever, um, without having to risk blowing up or having slimes kill you or whatever. Um, so Laura fails at disarming the spikes and then fails at dodging them. But it doesn't matter because we can let Laura fall on all the spike pits she wants because she doesn't have to stay alive. Um, she does have to preserve her last one LP, and I really doubt she's going to lose them all. Oh, Henri only has 12 LP. I think I said he had 14 in the last video. Oops. 12 is not that great. Um, but it's part of what makes this a challenge. I've seen somebody go through this game single character with... Uh, Joseph, and Joseph has like 8 LP or something, or like 10, so uh, Henri's 12 is plenty, especially when he has such a good skill making, um, but Laura's final boss is one of the most difficult in the game. Birds, 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 oh my god. <laughs> 
Um, definitely not going to try to open a chest. If you try to interact with a chest when there are monsters on the same panel as you, they will attack you. And then I pick up the Luminous Sun and all the birds come and some wildlings come and now they're all going to kill me. Um, this was really, really scary when it happened. Um, but, uh, when you really think about it, it's not that bad, but just starting out and my single, ca single character challenge and Henri is not that great yet and there's like all of these things ganging up on me. That was pretty scary. Um, but I'm going to use the strategy that I used against the mid-boss in the last adventure. I uh, use magic first to uh, delay the rest of my actions and let the enemies try to waste off theirs. And then I get pecked in the eyes and now Henri is blind. Um, yeah, this was terrifying. <laughs> um, but luckily these things do almost no damage to me, it seems. Uh, but there's just so many of them, and they get so many actions that they're still interrupting my combos. Um, but I do get rid of two of them, and then I uh, get hit, and then get rid of another two, and then it's suddenly not scary anymore. But I'm kind of mad about being blind, uh, because throw already has a pretty bad accuracy anyway. Um... So being blind is going to make it even worse. Uh, I do manage to pull the throw off here. Um, but it doesn't stun, so it doesn't really matter. The only point of the throw is to stun is to throw. Or the only point of the throw is to stun. Um, and if you're wondering why I'm using the Blade of Escada and not the other knife, even though um, the Blade of Escada has, like, attack um, it's because it has unlimited durability and I don't want to break my other knife even though I do have access to the blacksmith and Wanda I really don't want to have to go there and risk like losing parry because the blacksmith failed or something and uh, plus the key point right now is doing LP damage and doing the to these like little weak enemies from the beginning of the game is not that hard um, and hopefully I will get quick fix or something soon so I won't have to worry about this anyway um, and I'll just be able to use my weapons unlimitedly. Um, so now you see my throw is miss 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 I'm missing with my throw because I'm blind and uh, getting beat up some more um, because this map is so open uh, enemies can kind of hunt you down pretty easily, so, and your turn limit is really not that bad. Um, it seems small, but the map is kind of small, and you can complete your objective pretty quickly. Um, but I'm always, like, paranoid about, uh, stopping to rest too much when you have a low turn limit, even though it's easy to get by. And you can see there's lots of spaces, uh, that are red, um which means there's more monsters on that space than there are characters in my party. Um, I think it might also be red if it's the same. So there might be just three monsters there, but still three monsters versus Henri is not something I want to deal with, um, even though five was fine. Um, here's the free magic tablet that you get. Um, if you make it up to this area in the desert, it doesn't have to be in Lumina Stone. I think you can do it in light, uh, Night Desert too. Um, as long as you're on this map. Um, here's another one of those little scenes. Um, oh, I think this is the girl from before. Yeah, and uh, she's glad that you believed her and not her friends. Um, and she gives you this uh, Target for free. I think that's how you say that. I don't think it's Target. But um, I don't really need it. Whoa, slime, slime, slime. I'm glad that slimes are docile. I would hate it if slimes attacked you in this game, ever. Um, slimes are usually my least favorite things to fight. Um, even though they're not as bad as in some other Saga games, I still don't want to fight them. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, that's red. I'll not go there. And the, the other space was red, and I just went there. But luckily, it was just the slimes. Um, slimes gather together in this game, 
uh, as you can see, like, both of those red spaces were probably three slimes, and now they're all clumped together. Um, but they don't ever fight you, so that's good. Um, but it makes spaces look scary, and you don't want to step on them because it'll be red, and you'll think there are tons of enemies there, and it's just like a big horde of slimes. And Henri is not prepared to take on all those slimes himself right now. Uh, even though stabbing them would probably do fine, since they're like low rank slimes right now. Um, another thing about slimes is with other enemies, you can tell what monster rank you're at by the which enemy you're fighting. Um, <clears throat> it'll have a different appearance and a different name and stuff like that. Uh, you know, so when you're fighting the vegeplasts that are like huge, uh, that's obviously different than the little mushroom vegeplasts we've seen so far, stuff like that. And these little skeletons and eyeballs and stuff, they're the low rank undeads. But slimes at every rank look exactly the same, and they're all called slime. So you have no idea like what strength of slime you're fighting. Uh, you can kind of tell by some of the abilities they use, but even then it's hard to tell. Um, and you can't tell from the map or anything, so... Uh, slimes are an annoying enemy. I ignore them as much as I can. Here I decided to take a different approach instead of doing magic. Um, since Henri was blind or whatever, I just decided I'd just stab one at a time and see what happens. Um, and I got hit enough that I figured I could probably chain my last three together. Um, or I didn't do the fire shield the first time, did I? I didn't see myself do it. I don't even know what's going on. Um, I've had to re-record this video, like, five times now because Windows Movie Maker keeps crashing on me and I'm like forgetting what I even want to say and getting kind of tired of saying it. Um, but this is the farthest I've gotten so far. I think it's because I wasn't letting the video like fully load before I started recording the narration or started editing it and stuff. Um, I cut out a huge chunk at the end because I just sat on the... Uh, skill panel select screen, and yeah, look, these things are like, not dying. I was really scared at this point, um, even though I think Henri's recovered from his blindness, um, I'm kind of running out of time and running out of LP, um, compared to where I feel I should be, <laughs> this thing just like will not die. Um, I decided to be greedy and go for as many Luminous Stones as I could, um, even though I think I already have enough. Uh, I don't know if I said before, but uh, this, the point of the Luminous Stones is there's a contest and you're supposed to run around and pick up as many of the stones as you can and bring them back, and the winner gets like this famous inventor's new invention or something. Uh, and the more you get, the better chance you're supposed to have to get a better invention. Um, but no matter how many you get, the invention always breaks and you don't actually get anything. Uh, so I don't really know like the point of them saying that. Uh, maybe just to encourage you to try to get more to make it more exciting while you're doing it. Um, but it'd be cool if they actually gave you an item or something. Hey, Ice Barrier, that's cool. Um, especially a double circle ice barrier. Um, yeah, the monster dropped a chest and I didn't go for it. And here I'm like, oh, I'll just like run back to the beginning. And then I end up kind of exploring around anyway. Because um, I still have like 30 turns or something before I really have to go on. So I might as well, you know, kind of go back and forth and uh, see what I can find. Maybe pick up some more luminous stones. It's just fun to see how many you can get. Um, I've gotten a lot before. Um, see, now I know I'm near the end, and I check, and I have more than 20 turns, uh, left to spend. So, I'll go ahead and, uh, huff puff. I'll kind of go ahead and, uh, run around and look for some more luminous stones just to see. Um, I think I've gotten, like, 20 or something before. I don't know how many you can get. I usually get about 13 or 14, but, uh, this time I actually got... Quite a few. Yeah, Andre's like dying. He falls in the trap 
and loses LP. I don't even know how many LP he has left. Um, but I got another Lumina Stone for it. And then I find this treasure chest, and uh, I don't have Sharp Eye. So I'm just like, oh, I'll defuse it. And I didn't even think about what kind of risk this was, because uh, <laughs> it like, explodes and all this crap, and then a treasure slime comes out. And I did not even think about this being a possibility, and I started freaking out. These things have tons of attacks and get tons of turns, and um, they can really dish out some damage, especially early game. Um, they do this dissolving acid thing, which can do at least one life point damage. Um, so I'm just gonna hope I can stab it four times in a row and it dies. It's just dis dissolving acid and fire arrows. 532 damage. Luckily only one LP though, and then it decides to do fire veil. I was very, very happy it only did three things. And I sparked Sonic Thrust. Um... I was feeling a lot better after I sparked Sonic Thrust, because I figured I'd make it out alive. And I did. I did my one little LP damage that I needed to do. And uh, then I decided I really didn't want to be greedy anymore. I'm just going to go to the exit. Um, and then I get kind of confused and like can't find it. And I think it's like over here. I'm like, what am I supposed to go like up? And... Uh, but they give me a Luma stone, so now I have 16. And I check my map and realize I was really supposed to go down. Um, and that's the finish. And, uh, yep, the invention's gonna break. See? It doesn't matter how many you get. I think you only need 8 or 9. I think I said that. But, um, yeah, here I just cut a big portion out. That's why it, like, seemed to jump. Um, if you hear a bunch of Skype sounds, my friend kept messaging me on Skype through this whole thing and saying really weird stuff to me. Um, that's part of the reason I was not um, paying attention here because I kept looking over at that. It was pretty hard for me to decide what I wanted to do. Um, I really wanted the dagger panel and the bow panel. Um, bows are going to be awesome because you can use random arrow shoot or arrow shot or whatever it is and that hits all of the targets and uh that's extremely useful, especially for a single character challenge, I would think. I mean, this is my first one, but... So, I decided I'll probably get the dagger panel all the time, um, because I'm going to be using daggers more than anything, so this will probably show up again, so I might as well take the bow panel right now while I have it, since I don't even have a bow yet. Um, and I can probably pretty easily find one or make one. Um... And then I just have to decide where to put it. Um, I get a pretty uh, decent growth if I throw it in the middle, and I'm pretty sure that's what I end up deciding on. Uh, I did check out the panel, or the uh, the tablet. I ended up deciding I'd much rather have the bow. Um, I don't know what I gave to Judy and... Laura. I know I upgraded one of Judy's uh, 